What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management channel. My name is Andrzej and today I'm going to be doing an update on uh, Bionana Genomics company. For those of you who don't know what Bionana Genomics is, let me give you brief information. Bionana Genomics is a life uh, science instrumentation company which focuses on uh, genome analysis space. The firm engages in the development and marketing of Saphir system, a platform for ultra-sensitive and ultra-specific structural variation detection that enables researchers and clinicians to accelerate the search for new diagnostics and therapeutic, target, therapeutic targets to, and to streamline cytogenetics. So, in my opinion, it is a great company, it is a great science company, and uh, for now they have a market cap less than a little bit less than two, uh, three billion dollars and uh, here is some information about uh, them and uh, this information is dated of uh, february the second basically it was issued uh, several hours ago Saphir study is first to analyze cancer regulation at level of single dna molecules open opens promising new avenue of cancer research so it is a huge news about this company. I think uh, uh, this uh, study is uh, the most promising uh, across all the company like this. Uh, but we have uh, some more information about this company. Do analysts uh, agree on Bionana Genomics uh, stock target price? And here we have uh, some information. Wall Street is positive on Bionana Genomics. Uh, on average, analysts uh, give BNGO a strong buy rating. The average price target is $4.562 dollars, which means analysts expect this stock to fall by 62.3% uh, over the next 12 months. So, it's quite negative uh, prediction, but nevertheless, uh, let me switch to the chart itself. But first of all, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. In this case, you won't miss my next video. So here is the chart itself, and uh, here was my last uh, probable least probable setup, and basically it worked. So uh, here was the uh, accumulation zone at this point, around around uh, ten and a half dollars. Uh, stop loss was uh, at the bottom of uh, previous pivot, right here, and the target price was around uh, 13.5 dollars. We all, we've almost hit uh, this target price, but nevertheless, some of you might uh, have take a pro take profit because uh, we've hit this uh, resistance, as I've uh, already mentioned in my previous video. By the way. A link to this video will be on your top right corner and in the description down below. And uh, I have to mention that uh, this is no, uh, there is no strict uh, target prices. Uh, it is always a range of price. So in your accumulation zone, you laddering down your buys. Uh, in the stop losses, you might uh, be flexible during the. Uh, setup of uh, stop loss order and uh, as well you might be flexible in here in this point that's why uh, you might uh, take profit from uh, this setup and your profit uh, I think was around uh, 20 maybe 25 percent so congratulations and uh, uh, let me be clear it was the least probable uh, setup and nobody knows uh, the exact movements of any stock in the world. So, it is always a game of probability. Uh, it was the least probable, I think it was around 20% uh, of probability and uh, it uh, took place. So, here I think we have uh, this top and uh, it uh, compares with my this uh, top uh, point. And then we have this uh, retracement and it is this one. So in this case, it might be one more leg up. And uh, let me show you a uh, daily chart. Here we have a clear support of RSI and we bounce back from this support again. And that's why we had this uh, movement to the upside. And the probability of uh, this last uh, leg is, uh, I think, uh, around 10%. So it is uh, uh, more unlikely to happen. And uh, here, let me show you my, let me show you my 
main uh, account that I think it uh, should happen. So from this point we even might go down and uh, uh, this is accumulation zone for next uh, move up and uh, it is uh, to be clear it is only for wait a second it is only for uh, third wave let me show you this one so i took a fibonacci retracement from 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 the beginning of uh, this third wave and uh, uh, put the second uh, uh, point at the top of uh, this wave and this is the retracement so 0.5 for region it means it's roughly it's exactly the middle of uh, this wave and uh, 0 0.618 uh, 0 0.5 the golden corner and uh, uh, in uh, maybe two or three days i will do another update uh, because of this movement we have to be clear uh, is it a retracement wave of uh, abc movement to the downside wait a second i have to clean some charts i don't need this one yes so it might be something like this a b c typical uh, retracement wave of zigzag and uh, if we turn over from this point and uh, we will break uh, this uh, pivot then it, it will be exactly the abc uh, retracement but we have another possibility and uh, basically here it is and in this point we will take a retracement from the whole structure wait a second here it is from the bottom of uh, the initial wave and to the top for now the top is uh, the top of the third wave and if we exceed this point we will have uh, something like this and in the, in this case we will have uh, the retracement the most probable zone of uh, investment in long term will be around 566 uh, to 6.14 uh, uh, fourteen dollars but we have to wait until market reveal itself and uh, let me show you one more thing let me show you indicators basically here we have uh, rsi and uh, macd and on rsi we have we still have uh, uh, bearish divergence so lower high on rsi with the higher high on the price movement then we have declining volume uh, we are losing momentum according to macd indicator and here after this crossover we will uh, turn our movement to the downside and uh, basically it will be uh, downtrend uh, short term downtrend i mean short term uh, from several weeks to couple of months and then it we will hit accumulation zone so why it is the worst point to invest in this company let me show you this one this is a rsi and we are on weekly time frame and we hit uh, 97.82 points and it is extremely overbought so this indicator have to uh, go down and uh, it will go down only in one wave only in one way uh, when the price movement will go down as well so uh, that's why it is the worst point to uh, invest in this company but in long term i believe it is the best one of the best uh, investment across your portfolio so with that being said uh, please subscribe to my channel and uh, hit the like button see you next time bye